Yes, like I was saying earlier before I was interrupted. Happy, happy Monday. Beautiful, beautiful day. What can I say? This morning, just uh, embracing this moment, really. That's all I'm doing right now. Embracing this moment and um, breathing with this thing called energy. So everything is yoga, meditation, and just running, really. A lot of reading, you name it. Got up as usual and just, I think I got up about, I was up around at two o'clock this morning. When the alarm went off. So my push-up yesterday got up to 800, and uh, my body was kind of just in that recovery mode. So I think I'm beginning to find out that skills. So just pushing the body really, and resting it at the same time is where we are. So the meditation is just one of those things that wow absolutely amazing just the things that could learn about sitting still and all the things that comes along with it while you're asking yourself questions about what am i supposed to be doing it's amazing just sitting still and just listening it is really funny these days growing up I thought I had a career plan. Uh, actually, did what everybody wanted me to do. And as time progresses and I do a lot of self realization, I begin to realize that what I wanted in life is actually not what a lot of people wanted. So, doing that, I begin to do a lot of deep searching, which has led me to put in a lot of miles on my body. A lot of meditation the whole thing about the planet started to really really interest me shall I say I become more curious about it and I really wanted to know more so that being said I begin to really tap into myself more than usual and the one thing that really amazes me is the whole experience of um, your material things when you actually lose it all because I'm on this beautiful part right about now when you don't have your material things is when you truly realize self-love and how rich you are so how rich you are is how you can actually hold yourself during this time. There's actually a plane here somewhere. Now you can see the cloud is still out. So how rich you are, you will find out when your material things are not with you anymore. It's so funny how even though we claim to believe in a spiritual being or an entity, we value our material stuff then we realize and that's why when life challenges us we really don't know what to do we uh, get confused and we try to numb ourselves so for me I numb myself with taking responsibility, meditation, jogging, reading a lot and what I come to find out was everything that actually transpired was actually my fault and what really makes me happy isn't my material things, there's more to that and I realized that what I was actually suffering for was 
<laughs> insecurity and not self-love it is good to be successful don't get me wrong materialistically to be comfortable live in a nice house those things are just um, how do I say this they're very good to have they, uh, it helps a lot especially when you're having a family to be able to raise the kids send them to college schools and all that and at the same time those things are not for everybody it doesn't matter how you try and i think that's the part that a lot of us do not want to understand we are not ready to deal with those type of things to say well what do you mean i can't accomplish this so when in reality is sometimes you're better off looking within to see what happened and getting over this fear of age every day is a new beginning that's another thing right there every day is a new beginning and if you truly kept your body the way it's supposed to be kept so you'd be really amazed so for me to say i want to start live over again in my 50s i get a lot of lot of negative backlashes and it's not intentional it's just because many leave in their head that has given up so when you realize that every day you're young you think differently so that being said uh, i love what i'm seeing right here let me slow down love what i'm seeing right here let me continue this meditative jog this morning it is a beautiful day gratitude this morning one love one love and uh, peace